Daki Richa, Vice President, Head of Cloud Software Services at Ericsson Middle East and Africa. Thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Economy Middle East. Thanks for having me. Al. Great to be here. Wonderful. Uh, what are some of the top trends you're seeing in cloud software and services market today? I guess uh, here at Jitex 2023, it's a great example of 5G, the network as a platform for innovation. You know, for me, that's um, a great enabler with the amount of throughput, latency, and just sheer workloads that can be managed by 5G is a clear industry trend. And then as we go through the first use cases of either fixed wireless access uh, or enhanced mobile broadband, a big use case coming through is network slicing. Mm -hmm. And how do I differentiate the quality of service for different categories of customer segments. So that's a massive thing coming through. Um, and the last piece I think is, is true, at least in Jitex 2023, is artificial intelligence and machine learning at the base of either our operations or the insight that we draw from what happens in the network to make the next best predictive activity. And I think they're the key trends that I see emerging from Jitex 2023. And, um... What innovative solutions are you showcasing at Jitex? Yeah, I really want to concentrate on one solution, which I think was amazing. And I got the opportunity to see that earlier. And that was using a 5G network slice to be able to create an immersive experience in stadium at a football match. To give you the perspectives from different angles, but also to be uh, well entrenched in what's happening on the field and also catering to your in-stadium experience. So one, it was customized to you, the mobile subscriber who sits in a stadium. But second, it was also a great business opportunity for either service providers or clubs and facilities to be able to sell their services. Imagine you're in stadium and you're ordering what meal you want, but also the type of quality of service you want on the experience you have in the stadium. It's an amazing use case around the power of 5G and what it actually brings to the table. And you mentioned AI earlier on. What's the role of AI within Ericsson and within your department? AI is a great enabler, you know, artificial intelligence in itself. To be able to you know, start, say, with the operation piece, to be able to understand activities and trends within the network in itself and to help not only predict, but take action. They call it closing the loop. Taking action on an activity to secure that the network continues to perform at a level that is warranted. Um, and that in itself is doing a few things. One, it's secure, because it's within the network in itself. The second piece is it helps to be able to be far more productive in the network, to be able to pick up these trends and take action. The third is it helps you to model what should we do? And if we do something in a particular area of the network, what will be the consequence? And can we make money from it? Or can we save money from it? So there are great aspects that we work with artificial intelligence and machine learning throughout all of our solution suite, especially in the BSS layer, our billing support systems, um, but also in our network design and optimization uh, organization, we use a lot of artificial intelligence to be able to learn predict and then take action as well. I see. And digital transformation sits at the top of many companies' list. What's Ericsson doing to help its customers on that front? I think digital transformation is a very broad term. Um, and from the perspective of 5G, you create that as a base layer to be able to innovate. There's a few things that are really fundamental when introducing 5G. The one is what are the use cases that we can go to market and make sense for different customer segments. To be able to create segments within the network, to be able to differentiate quality of service um, is one thing, but digital transformation at the heart of it is to be able to create monetization layers as an example, that for a, a consumer in enhanced mobile broadband, I could be able to apply one set of policies, one set of monetization, uh, for an enterprise segment, for a multinational, uh, you know, global uh, industry player, I might be able to you know, perform or to configure a different type of service level, different type of monetization, different type of experience. To be able to enable all of that, you can't do it manually. 
you need to be able to automate that. And digital transformation for us is to create the vehicles so that service providers can drive a lot of this in an efficient way across their network, across different segments, and you don't do it in a way that doesn't bring in the legacy operational overhead of doing it the way we did previously. I see, and can I get your thoughts on cloud computing, particularly in the Middle East and Africa region? Where is it, where is it going? What's the future for it? Yeah, I think it's a great and exciting future when it comes to cloud computing um, within Middle East and Africa, for sure. Um, you know, we're using this platform here at Jitex 2023, not only to talk about our own solutions from an Ericsson product portfolio, but also how we collaborate with our partners and industry players. Um, take for an example, the, the data center construct traditionally was um, within a, a certain rack or frame and we deploy solutions for a customer. Now you want to be able to provision use cases across a 5G network where potentially you want to take compute and processing far closer to the end user who's sitting out there in the edge 100 kilometers away. So to be able to do that, we're able to focus on different levels of compute, things like edge compute, but also to maybe shift workloads outside of traditional data centers and onto hyperscalers. So we're working and we partner with all of the different hyperscalers to be able to provision different workloads from service providers across the network where it makes sense for different use cases. Very interesting insights. Thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Economy Unleashed.